Today we're going to be talking about some of my top tips to help you guys stay healthy during the holidays. I know from like personal experience that the holidays can be a very stressful time. Um, it's cold, the weather changes, it gets darker earlier, um, you're stressed because you're trying to, you know, work and save up for like Christmas presents. And I mean, this year, you know, with everything that's going on, it's even harder because everyone's on a tighter budget. Not a lot of people are working. So not a lot of people are going to get like the holiday gifts that they usually get. Um, maybe you're just stressed out about money. Maybe you're stressed out about not being able to see your family. Um, and then, you know, you do have Christmas coming up and Hanukkah and all of the other holidays coming up. Um, which means a lot of like food that isn't healthy. So you're stressed about eating healthy and you know getting off track with your fitness goals and your health goals and things like that. So many things going on during the holidays. So I'm here to help you out and put your mind a little bit at ease and just to give you some of my like doable and attainable tips to help you stay on track during the holidays. So, you know, we got this. Take a deep breath. Let's jump into the video. Okay, tip number one is to eat mindfully. <laughs> I know we, you know, roll out the huge like Thanksgiving dinners and the holiday um, Christmas parties and you know, all of like the treats start flowing, the holiday ham, the mashed potatoes, the rolls, <laughs> the pie, all of that fun stuff starts coming out. And, you know, as much as we should be enjoying ourselves and not depriving ourselves, um, it is still very important to eat mindfully. So when you're eating, um, it's super important to just like sit back and truly allow yourself to enjoy the holiday food that you're eating. Enjoy the flavors, enjoy like the nostalgia, enjoy the company around you. Pay attention to like the taste, the flavor, the smell. It's like super important to remember that when you're trying to eat and like you're say you're watching TV or you're not really paying attention to your food or like you're like thinking of other things you tend to rush and either just shove everything in your mouth or because you're not paying attention you're just able to eat way more than what you're actually wanting to eat or like what your body needs so we tend to just kind of overeat when we're not paying attention to actually eating so we don't know when to slow down and when to like know and listen to our bodies that you know our bodies are telling us hey you're full you don't need more food we're not really paying attention to that so we end up overeating we end up going back for seconds not saying that going back for seconds is bad or you shouldn't go back for seconds if you're still hungry by all means go back to get seconds if you just want a little bit more it's not gonna hurt you go back and get a little bit more but when we're you know having all of this like stimulus around us when we're watching tv watching the game things like that we're not really paying attention to the food that we're actually eating and then we can kind of miss the cues in our brain and in our stomach that are telling us that are full so really just be mindful listen to your body slow down when eating enjoy your food and just take the time to actually enjoy what you're eating okay tip number two is to stay hydrated it is colder now that it's winter time so our bodies need way more water to help the functions in our body like actually work pro properly um also you know our skin's getting a lot drier and there's a lot more illnesses and stuff like that so we really need to keep our bodies hydrated so we can keep our skin nice and moisturized we can keep our body functions working properly getting our immune systems up so that it can fight against diseases, things like that. Um, and also, you know, again, goes with the holidays and holiday parties and things like that. We tend to, you know, drink alcohol and eggnog, coffee, 
things like that that really dehydrate our bodies so remembering to stay hydrated during those times is really going to help you out one help you out with hangovers but also just help you from like feeling sick or just feeling like you know getting a headache or just not feeling your best because your body is dehydrated also when you're drinking um i know this like sounds super lame to say but to help you avoid a hangover or avoid from drinking too much it's kind of a smart idea to alternate your alcoholic drink with water it doesn't need to be like every alcoholic drink but make sure when like you know you're having your bottle of wine with your friends or your spiked eggnog hot toddy whatever you throw a glass of water here and there in between so you can help you stay hydrated and not die <laughs> tip number three is to choose healthier substitutes for your favorite holiday foods you know i'm all about us enjoying our foods and enjoying the holidays and not depriving ourselves but let's be real you go to your holiday cookout and there is very little veggies on the table usually um they're usually high in fat high in carbs not saying carbs are bad carbs are great for you you need carbs but um sometimes they're not like the best types of carbs they're not complex carbs they're just more of like the simple carbs that turn into sugar really quickly there's a lot of holiday treats that are filled with a lot of sugar a great tip is to maybe make one of your favorite holiday treats make like a healthier alternative you can make the healthy pumpkin bread that i have up on my website you can make some healthier versions of chocolate chip cookies or a healthier pie option maybe you can bring like a healthier version of your favorite green bean casserole some brussels sprouts maybe if you're like families into pasta you can do whole wheat pasta instead of refined white pasta maybe you can cut back on the cheese a little bit whatever the case may be to make that version of your favorite dish healthier will definitely help you out in the long run i'm not saying you need to like healthify your entire dinner not what i'm saying but maybe you know throw some brussels sprouts in there or some spinach or reduce the sugar in something i don't know you know something like that to help you out a little bit so you're not just eating carb sugar fat carb sugar fat tip number four Four, do not forget to move your body. I know, again, like I said earlier, it is cold outside. Gyms are closing down again. Um, we are constantly being busy, you know, going to holiday parties, working. Maybe we're just so cold that we don't want to get off the couch and Netflix just came out with a cute holiday movie and you would rather do that instead. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, we still need to move our bodies do a quick little 20 minute at home workout maybe go on a walk with the dog or just go on like a little morning stroll or afternoon stroll go on a run do a peloton ride do like a little ab circuit at home whatever the case may be to get your body moving do that it doesn't have to be for like hours on end it could be a quick little 20 30 minute workout just to kind of get things moving that way you're not just stuck in one place not moving your body not exerting the energy that you need to keep your body healthy and there's so many resources for like free workouts on youtube i know whitney simmons has like her workouts um she also has like an app that you can download there's so many like people on instagram who always post free workouts if you have like the peloton app you there's like a home to different types of workouts on there same with us Soul cycle app they post like so many different types of workouts that you can do whatever type of workout that you like do it you can do like yoga pilates maybe get some like cheap dumbbells from target or amazon and do like a little circuit with those i don't know whatever you want to do just make sure you move your body somehow okay tip number five Tip number five is to help us boost our immune system. Um, I'm not going to give you like a specific product to take or say eat a whole bunch of vitamin C and you're never going to get sick. No. I mean, once you're sick, you can take all the vitamin C you want in the world and it's not going to help you out. Like you're just going to have to get better. <laughs> but some ways that we can kind of help our immune systems out and maybe help us have a little bit of a higher chance from getting sick is to make sure we're eating lots of fruits and veggies 
Um, make sure you're eating a lot of different types of varieties of fruits and veggies. You want your plate to be colorful. You want a lot of green veggies, fruits, oranges, like orange fruits and vegetables, red fruit and vegetables. Throw it all in there, like mix it up. You need all of the different types of arrays of vitamins and minerals from the different kinds of foods that are out there to help boost your immune system. Make sure you're eating good amounts of like complex carbs that have all of the different types of minerals that you need in there. Make sure you're eating good sources of protein like chicken, salmon, grass-fed beef. You can also, if you're like plant-based, you know, make sure you're eating good amounts of beans and legumes, tofu. Just make sure you're eating well-balanced meals. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're bundling up and staying warm. Make sure you're washing your hands, hand sanitizer, make sure you're wearing a mask, all of that fun stuff. Anything you can do to boost your immune system. Also, a great way to boost your immune system is to get adequate amounts of sleep. If you are running on fumes, you are not doing your body any good you need to get some sleep six to eight hours whatever in that range is working for you do that when you are tired and your body isn't able to function properly your immune system shuts down and you are definitely more prone to infection than when you get your eight hours of sleep you're hydrated and you're eating healthy so get sleep don't be stressed <laughs> eat healthy drink lots of water move your body all gonna boost your immune system. Um, tip number six is to change your mindset. I know around this time we're, you know, kind of reflecting on all the things we didn't do this year. We didn't start our workout regimen. We didn't eat the healthiest we could have. We didn't do this, we didn't do that. And then we make it our like mission for the next year. Like, okay, here comes January. I'm gonna do what I said I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna eat healthy every day. I'm gonna work out every day, all that stuff. And it kind of just makes it harder to like give yourself compassion. Let's be real. This year was a crazy year. Half of us couldn't even go outside for like the entirety of the year. Um, we had to do workouts at home. If we were able to do workouts, we lost our jobs. Maybe food was scarce for you, whatever the case may be. Just, you know, I want to remind us to give ourselves some grace and yes, a new year is coming and it's great to set goals for yourself, but don't set unattainable, unachievable goals for yourself. Don't beat yourself up because you didn't hit your goals this year or you feel like you could have done more and you didn't. Um, also, you know, with the holidays coming up, don't deprive yourself of all of the good, yummy foods and, you know, enjoying drinks with friends or family or eating that holiday ham or pie or whatever the case may be. Um, just because you want to do like this all out thing of getting healthy and getting back on track and things like that. Um, living a healthy lifestyle is obviously a lifestyle it is a change that doesn't happen overnight so although it's great that you know you want to make a decision to get healthy don't deprive yourself don't beat yourself up if maybe one day you have some cookies or you drink a glass of wine you forget to eat your veggies remember that habits are built consistently over time you have to be consistent you have to just work at it every day um but also you still have to let yourself enjoy the things you love like stuffing and mashed potatoes with a crap load of butter in it <laughs> and holiday pie and cookies for santa and things like that so just remember to change your mindset be a little bit easier on yourself Yes, we can make healthier decisions and we can still work towards healthier goals, but we can also be just, you know, a little bit kinder with ourselves. So just remember that for the holiday season. I forget what number we're on now. Okay, but my next tip <laughs> is to take care of your gut health, whether that is taking a probiotic, whether it's doing the green shot that I do every day, um, eating fermented foods, whatever floats your boat do that because gut health is so extremely important gut health is so important for just digesting the foods that we eat and you know 
I feel like this whole video is kind of centered around food, but I mean, that's my whole life. Um, but you know, with all the foods that we're eating, we do need proper digestion to kind of help move things along so we're not backed up um, and we're not like constipated as hell trying to be all cute in front of people. <laughs> it also is super important for sleep. Um, when you don't have good gut health, it can lead to things like insomnia. So when you have insomnia, you can't sleep, you can't sleep, your immune system goes down, you get sick. So you need good gut health for that. Gut health is also connected to brain health. So that's mental health. Um, so when you don't have good gut health, it can lead to things like depression, anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety and depression going on with like everything that's going on with COVID, lockdown. You can get the seasonal depression from it being cold outside. So it's super important to take care of our gut health to also take care of our mental health. It also helps to take care of like the brain gut connection as far as having those like hunger cues and cues to tell us when to stop eating. Um, because when you're not having good gut health, you can maybe, you know, forget to eat because you're like so bloated and it hurts and you like don't want to eat because you like physically can't put anything else in your stomach but like you still need to eat to nourish your body or it can also lead to things of just like overeating because your body like can't tell if it's still hungry or if it's satisfied because like you're so bloated and like there's so much going on in your digestive system that it just kind of can't keep up so you know that tends to lead us like to overeating which can obviously cause so many other different types of problems so moral of the story is take care of your gut health take a probiotic do your green shot eat fermented foods um you can eat like fermented cabbage like kimchi you can eat things like yogurt or kefir you can drink like some kombucha eat some miso all those types of fermented foods i'm sure there's more out there i literally just cannot think about the off the top of my head but whatever helps you get that good bacteria into your gut and helps your digestive system out is fine with me and then my last tip for you guys is just to stay positive and to, to try to reduce the amount of stress that comes along with the end of the year, with a new year, with 2020, with holidays, maybe, you know, seeing your family stresses you out, maybe your job is stressing you out, maybe not seeing the sun is stressing you out, whatever stress is causing you pain. Um, you know, just remember to take some time for yourself, practice some self-care, go take a bubble bath, read a book, meditate, watch your favorite show, talk it out with a friend, call someone that you love, write a letter to Santa, I don't know. Whatever makes you happy and whatever you can do to kind of just take some time for yourself to give yourself some love, do that. Just help yourself to de-stress and unwind. We can be, you know, eating healthy and working out all we want but if we're not taking care of our mental health you truly aren't healthy so you need to take care of your mental health your physical health eating well drinking water all of those things it truly is like a full mind body spirit wellness lifestyle that we all need to be living so um you know if you ever need to talk to somebody you can always message me call a friend just take care of yourself during this crazy, crazy time. Okay, I just wanted to pop on here real fast. Um, I was in the middle of editing this and I wanted to show you guys the next um, Listmas giveaway. So one lucky winner will be able to win a Tula face filter flooring primer. And then you're gonna also win um, this little like three piece set of all of the Tula eye balms so you get the rose glow and get it eye balm their original eye balm and then the glow hour eye balm that they collabed with courtney shields with so one lucky winner will win both of these all you have to do is comment down below what your favorite health tip was from the video 
um, leave your Instagram handle next to your comment. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and make sure you're following me on Instagram. I will leave all of the rules for the giveaway in the description box down below. And yeah, you have 24 hours to enter from the time that this video goes live. So I will choose the winner on Sunday, December 6th. So 24 hours to win both of these amazing products. And yeah, good luck. Those are all my wellness tips for you guys to help us stay healthy during the holidays. I hope you guys found at least some of these helpful. <laughs> I know maybe to some of you it might be common sense, but I think it is a nice reminder, you know, when we have someone actually telling us what we should be doing, because I know even myself, sometimes I forget to drink water or maybe just take a couple minutes to myself or, hey, did I actually move my body today? You know, it, it happens to the best of us and sometimes we just need that little reminder need that little kick in the butt to get us going, need a little pep talk. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please go do that. My Instagram is right here at Holisticless. I post even more wellness and beauty tips on there. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.